I, I, seeing you in a whole shot award, it didn't even register. It didn't even register. That's so rare, isn't it? Like, oh my gosh, my dad told me he was like, okay, you are like quite a few points out from the championship. And of course, we come for the championship just like so many other people. But I've never had a whole shot here before. And anyway, so yeah, after my last moto, I was I was pretty frustrated with myself. Like, man, where, what could I have done better? And it seemed like so many things just weren't like, you know, like I tried so hard and it just wasn't adding up. And I had a friend come ask me basically, hey, you always say to trust in God if it's God's plan for you to not win. Are you going to be okay with that? And I was like, yeah. So I started this moto and I was like, whatever happens, it's in God's hands and it's the best. So this is probably my last year here. And... This is a cool note to end it on, a whole shot from the second outside gate. I'll take it. Right. So thanks to my coach, Kyle, for setting me up on that outside gate. I had an MX-14 on the back. Those things absolutely rip, and my pro circuit motor in that bike is unmatched on that start. So even with me being bigger than probably a lot of the girls, it's oh my gosh, that was a sick whole shot. So I'm stoked on that. I'm grateful to my parents for getting me here and my siblings. My sister for doing my goggles. My brother showed up late in the week, just did the best he could to get here, so I'm grateful for that. Rocking out ATV AMC. Thanks to them and Paul Barr, Fox, Fast Company. Oh, and Matt Mora and Alex Lips at Fox set up these uh, awesome roll-offs that just took care of everything. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful to uh, Henson and um, Factory Connection, Dunlop, Blend It Up, CrossFit Dixie, Works Chassis Lab, Billet Bob, um, Primary Drive, Tusk, uh, Attack Graphics, and um, my goodness, Coach Rob. Thanks to everybody. It's been an awesome week. I'm grateful to be here. Still cool. Here we go. Sophia Phelps. Sophie takes second. I think it might be second overall as well, second in the moto. Uh, we got the championship bike on up here. Do we? Let me send it back over to the tower real quick. You guys tell us what's happening on the racetrack. And we have, I'm not, I'm not. All right, uh, I'll figure out third in the moto. It doesn't matter. The math adds up to this. A number one plate in WMX. WMX. She had two golds, and she does what she needs to do. She's your new national champion, Kylie Stallings. I was a little worried there at first. Those first two motors were great. You were pretty far back early in the mud. Were you worried yourself? You know, I knew the track was going to be gnarly, so I knew that start would be important. I, I thought I got the whole shot, but I don't know. I came out first, and I ended up going down the Ten Commandment, Commandments first lap, and I knew I was back there. So uh, I just knew I needed to make up as many spots, and I knew I only had to get six to win the championship overall. So just went, just rode smart, and you know made it up to third, I think, and just rode there. How good does this feel? You know, it feels really good. My first women's championship. Uh, it's awesome. All right, congratulations, and we'll let you thank some people, Kylie. Yeah, I'd like to thank my mom and dad, my trainer, Robbie Raynard, Mike Fortner for taking me to the gate, uh, Ajax, FMF, uh, Roost, Monster, Monster Mike from Monster, Dunlop, Bob Fox from Dunlop, um, Fox, FCP, uh, Maxima Guts, CTI, everybody that helps me out. You guys are so awesome. Thank you so much. Here it is, everyone. Our new champion of WMX is Kylie Stallings. All right, take it away and tell us what's happened on the racetrack. Yeah, we have the college, 18 to 24, Jesse Wessel uh, currently in control. He is in control of this race and the championship megawatt. Look at those uh, moto he, scores you were talking he about. He absolutely is in control of the championship. We're looking at a 3-8-1 possible right now, but Kevin, <laughs> lots of time left in this one. This thing just getting started, and we have seen all kinds of madness this afternoon. Yeah, just uh, how do you adapt? Can you move around the racetrack, find that line? Because it takes about three laps to really put all the segments together. It's Wessel, our whole shot. Carson Eads has slipped back to the number seven spot. Carson had like a 37th uh, place, was his best finish and a DNF, so he'll take anything at this point. A whole shot is a nice little feather in your cap. You better believe it. Our second place rider, Connor Berger, I believe, yeah, yeah he's sitting on a 6-9-4 right now. That's uh, good for, let's Ooh. see, that's good for about fourth overall. So these guys, these uh, Moto wins are coming at a premium. You don't see too many guys getting more than one this week. No, not with the uh, varying degrees of weather that we've had and now temperature. So we're just throwing everything 
if it snows or hells, I'm just going to call it quits here. I mean, this, this has been a radical day, man. That'll be all four seasons. I love it. You, you, you ask our guy from Australia earlier, said, what is it? Uh, is it next year down there in the winter? Uh, <laughs> he goes, dead of winter. Hey, dead of winter. It's tomorrow. Exactly tomorrow, dead of winter. I already know. And you're like won. endless summer, man. You're right. chasing it, bro. Just chasing, the, chasing the summer. <laughs> well, Jesse Wessel, last time around, a two-minute flat. Hunter Berger, a two-minute .485. Grant LaFrance, 2.03. And Kyle Everson, 207. Yeah, normally we'd be ra raving about a two-minute, and that is a good lap time. But, of course, we've cut off a little bit of this racetrack sure. down by the billboard. Mm -hmm. So, still yep. a good solid time. And there is the number 79 now. It's Connor Berger taking over. No, he's still in the number two spot. Our leader had already flown past Jesse Wessel. And this will be lap number three. Hey, guys, real quick, we do got the third place in the Let's moto. Go. That was a last lap move. Viviana got the job done. Viviana Contreras with third in the moto. Uh, not quite those first two motos. I know you want a little bit more to be in title contention, but you still ended it with a good note. Yeah, our first two motos were a little bit of a struggle. I just couldn't find my flow and um, ended up going down, I think, both motos. And the third moto was just trying to stay up. And I actually ended up going down, but I knew I had to fight to get up there. And uh, I made the pass last corner by doubling the jump, jumping over, and then making it through and uh, barely making it uh, to the finish line. <laughs> hey, you got a podium out of the week. That's good. Who do you want to thank, Viviano? I want to thank my mom, my dad, all my family, friends that are here, Ramsey, John, and my mom, my dad. Those are like the big supporters, the biggest ones. Fast House. Um, Mad Moves, ASV, uh, Langston's, my mechanic Travis, EMT Racing, and Dunlop Tires, and Moto Seat, ASV Bray, everyone else I forgot, thank you. All right, there it is, third place, Viviana Contreras. Send it back up. All right, thanks, Jason. And we are racing here in the college, 18 to 24. The number 28 of Wessel still out front. Berger sitting in second. And then LaFrance going to hold down third there on the number 24 KTM. Hey, guess who's climbed into the championship picture now? Trevin Nelson has clawed his way past uh -huh. Connor Berger in terms of points by virtue of running in the number six spot. So every move forward now is awesome for Trevin Nelson. But and Wessel's only doing what he can do. He's leading this moto. That's all, that's all he can do. Yeah, Nelson's sitting on a 2-1-6 right now. So uh, that would be good enough for the overall. I was taking a look at uh, Capricanitis down there. He had worked his way up oh. to somewhere around 13th or something. Now he's clear back in the 23rd position, and he was sitting on a 7-2. He was in great shape there, but uh, right now got a lot of work to do. As Is the two card out yet? Uh, Probably getting close. Yes. But, oh, it is. Yes. Two lap card is out, so we'll see the white flag. So. Running out of time is a lot of work to do, a little time to do it. Yeah, and they're both doing what they're supposed to do. Wessel is winning. That's all he can do. And the rider in the number uh, six spot, Trevin Nelson, has jumped up and leapfrogged Wessel in terms of the championship. You know, you just keep saying it over and over. It sounds like a broken record, but we see these guys that should be winning two or three motos or should be walking. It's just unbelievable to see these guys maybe outside the top 10, outside the top 15. Yeah, that's 60, you know? that 65 class this morning, had the one kid had a podium and he had one top 10 finish. Right. It's like a ninth, an 11th, and a 17th. Right. Good enough for a third. <laughs> what? So waiting for that white flag to come out. Two-lap card is out right now. College 18 to 24. There's Kyle Peterson, or Epperson, excuse me, on the number four machine. There is the 69 right behind him, Joshua Bose. Joshua going to try something here on the inside. And that is Epperson on the red Honda, the number four on the plates. Bose on those Ten Commandments. Man, they are just barely able to get through those bad boys. They're tough. Yeah, we're at that point now, Kevin, where it's starting to, you know, some of the moisture starting to work its way out, being run out, being driven out through the equipment, whatever. But now those ruts, those are going to be solid ruts instead of soft ruts. Oh, yeah. Those aren't going to be ruts that give every lap. Now they're just going to start getting stiffer and stiffer, Jackson. So as you work your way through them, they won't be very forgiving. Yeah, Megawatt, now is the time that you've got to be able to read terrain. Now that some of this, it's not all mud around the track. There is hard, slick spots. There are the muddy Ten Commandments that are still got all the squiggly ruts. And then there's other parts of the track that are relatively all right. So reading that terrain is going to be a crucial thing here in these few next few. That's motos. a great description. Squiggly ruts. <laughs> With that accent, I, now I have an accent, but man, my man Jackson here, that's a good one. <laughs> Jason called you guys out. Okay, that's enough of the accents and the boosties. <laughs> Dude, he's right. 
So Jesse Wessel still out front. Last time around 158.3 compared to the 159.4 of Connor Berger. White flag, yep, white flag continues to fly right now. Less than a lap to go in this one. And Jesse Wilson looking to stamp this, but the overall champion, if it were to finish right now in this order, looks like Trevin Nelson on that number 25 Yamaha. The A's holding tough in the number six spot. We'll see once they come through and hit that transponder loop again, if Nelson can stay in that number six spot. It's all about consistency in this inconsistent racetrack for sure. And being consistent, Nelson picked up another one. That puts him up to fifth, so now he's looking at a 2 one, five. And I don't think he can even be contested right now if he just stays yeah. anywhere near there. That's a little cushion there, so if he yep. has a tip over. Kimball Jet having a tough time of it right now in that number 12 spot on the number 90 machine. Capricornite is still back in the number 29 spot. Wow. That's not something we say a lot down here at the ranch. No, you don't. He's usually up towards the front. So on screen, you see the number 28 of Jesse Welts. That is your leader here in this college, 18 to 24 for moto number three. There's Berger, Connor Berger, number 79, over that big step up back to Wessel. It looked really good, didn't it, Kevin? The traction looked good. Yeah. It didn't look sloppy at all. Yeah, it if you really were to good. see that, you were like, oh, the track's great. Sun's out. Perfect conditions. <laughs> it is tough. It's very demanding right now, very tiring. And that sun, man, it is just about... 95 degrees out there. It's brutal. One million percent humidity is, is that moisture comes out of the ground. Trevin Nelson turned to 159.6 that last time around. He was the fastest person on your tr on the track. That is your points leader as far as the championship is concerned. Be careful. Don't toss it away. There it is, the checker flag moto win here in this college 18 to 24 class. Jesse Wessel. We'll get it done. Connor Berger comes across. Man, he was not far behind him for sure. Looking for Grant LaFrance to wrap up our podium as far as the moto goes. And Grant should be coming across. That is a Yamaha rider there. That is the 25, your national champion. That's him, Trevin Nelson. Nelson, he was as consistent as anybody. Of course, that's why he's got the championship. Nelson with a score of 2-1-5. Able to claim that overall. Coming up next, Super Mini 1, 12 to 15. Always a good one. Just about to get our college 18 to 24 podium set up. Going to be talking to Nelson, Wessel, and Bortolan. So now the game changes yet again, Kevin. Things start to heat up just a bit. We've moved the soil around a couple times. As we work our way into the evening hours, we're gonna see yet a different track. And there is your top 10 on the screen for the college 18 to 24, moto number three. And we will be throwing things down to Jason Wygant on the podium here in just a second. Let's hand out the gold medal here. Moto win for Jesse Wessel. Talking to uh, your old Horizon Award winner coach there, that moto wasn't maybe as easy as it looked. Did you have a crash to overcome? Yeah, uh, I got a bad start. Had to pick my way through the crowd and uh, I started gapping and then I went down with uh, I think one lap to go. So I had to pick it back up. Somebody was right behind me and uh, put on a heater. You gotta be proud to get it done that way. Heck yeah, I've always, this is a dream come true. I've always wanted to win here and uh, for the last moto of the week to finally get it done, I'm pumped. Congratulations, Jess, that's awesome. Who do you want to thank? Uh, ODI, Maxima, KSR, Kite, Motivated, Rackham Racing, North Star Construction, SOBMX, my trainers, uh, Matt and Rod Bell, Jenna and everybody else, thank you so much. Let's hear it for Jess Wessel taking the moto win. Yeah. 
All right, thank you. But I got to tell you to take the bike down. We're going to have a championship to bring up with Trevin Nelson. Thank you, Jess. We'll hand out second and third. Also, Carson Eads got your uh, whole shot if he wants to come up. Let's bring up Car Connor Berger. Second place. It's getting hotter and hotter out here at Loretta's. We're going to give you the full menu. Let's hear it for the runner-up, Connor Berger. And if Trevin Nelson wants to bring his bike up, come on up. Connor, how was that moto? Here, I'm going to pull you to the middle. How was that moto? It was good. Yanked a good start on the stock tube at the F. It's my first time here at Loretta's and uh, just having some fun. Let's let this start go off. Who do you want to thank? Who do you want to thank for that? Uh, my mom, my dad, Woodstock KTM AEO suspension. Uh, Twisted for Matt, my ECU, um, Mobius, Fly Racing, and uh, everybody else I forgot. Thank you. Connor Berger with the silver, everybody. Let's bring the championship bike up, and I will hand out the bronze to Grant LaFrace. France, sorry, LaFrance, if he wants to come up. You want me to send it to the tower? You guys want to call up a minute? They're working on it. There we go. Yeah, call it. Let us know what's up. Uh, look, looks like the number 19 of Deacon, the Deacon of Destruction, Deacon Denno out front. All right, let's hear it for LaFrance here, taking the, the bronze. All right. Good job. Just blasting your ears out, Kevin. Uh, how'd you do that one? Tell me about it. Oh, I uh, I went up to the line positive. I knew I was going get, to get a good start, and I made moves quick and <laughs> fought to the end, yeah. Who do you want to thank? Uh, my mom, my dad, my sister. Um, Granite State Contracting, uh, Battaglia Foundations, Kevin at Motorsport Accessories, uh, Jordan Driven New England, uh, Thor, uh, 6D, and um, Factory Connection. They got me dialed in uh, last week before we came down here, and it, it showed, so All right. that was good. Let's hear it for our third place finisher, Grant LaFrance. And now our champion, he had to survive the mud, and he did it. Doesn't get a podium in the moto. He didn't need it. But the number one plate, courtesy of the AMA, you can bring it on up. You get the champagne as well. Here it is, your new champ in the college division, Trevor Nelson. Yeah. Wow, Kevin Kelly, thank you for that. Extra support. Uh, Trevin, so like trying to manage a title in traffic in the mud. That was uh, pretty crazy and really hectic. I uh, got a terrible start that time, just kind of spun, and uh, got pushed off the track the opening lap. And then, honestly, at that point, I thought I threw it away, so I just put my head down and kept pushing. That is awesome. Were you surprised when you came across the line? Did you even know you had it? No, I didn't. I figured that Jackson, he's been riding really well, and everybody else is way up there. So I was really, really surprised, and uh, this is a really good surprise. Oh, yeah. Who do you want to thank, Trevin? Yeah, I'd just like to thank uh, Brad at FXR, Ben, Mike, everybody at Club MX that's helped me along the way. It's been a long way coming. And uh, I'd just like to thank Yamaha, ATVs and more, Muckoff, FXR, Club MX, Jeffrey Holmes, Get Your Solutions, Flow, Icon Meets, uh, and just everybody. Congratulations, I'm gonna give you some money here for uh, education, courtesy of On Track School and the scholarshiprace.com. Bunch of sponsors that pitched in. He can use that for his education. And uh, that's it for our college. Let's hear it for our champion, Trevin Nelson.